Hello! In this video, we're going to talk about how to calculate slope algebraically, which means I'm going to use the formula to find slope. Okay, so we got some kind of tricky math symbols we want to look at. So how to calculate slope. Overall, slope, which we learned before, is denoted, which means it's written with the letter M. All right, now, slope means rise over run. When we write out the formula, we, we write this triangle. Triangle is the Greek letter delta, and that represents change. So this says the change in the y divided by the change in the x. And what does that mean, change? It just means the difference between my points. So how much am I going up, which is the rise, and how much am I going over, which is the run? So when I use my formula to find that out, um, we say we have y2, 2 represents like the second point, minus y1 represents the y value in the first point, divided by x2 minus x1. Um, so I'm going to show you a couple different examples on how the formula works so that you can get a good understanding. Now, when I'm doing this, I always like to write out, like, I'm going to call this point one and I'm going to call this point two. For the sake of when I do my, um, when I plug in the information in my formula that I'm consistent in the way that I'm choosing my points, otherwise I will end up with a calculation a sign error. So to find my slope, I go y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So <clears throat> remember that an ordered pair is written x, y. So here's what I'm saying. This right here says my second point, what is my y value? That's gonna go here. In my first point, what is my y value? That's going to go here. In my second point, what is my x value? That's going to go here. And in my first point, what is my x value? That's going to go here. So I fill in my numbers. My y2 in my second point, my y value is 9. In my first point, in the green, my y value is negative three. In my second point, my x value is four. And in my first point, my x value is negative two. Okay, now I can mathematically figure this out. Remember, subtraction means I'm going to add the opposite. And on the bottom, I'm subtracting a negative, which means I'm going to add the opposite. So I end up with 9 plus 3, which is 12, and 4 plus 2, which is 6. And then I divide. 12 divided by 6 is equal to 2. 2 is my slope. You can also write it as 2 over 1. Technically, when you reduce your fraction, that's what you get. This is also okay to write. All right. So let's see if you can do this. Find the slope between the points given below. So I'm going to write out my formula. This always helps me. Minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And I'm going to write out my skeleton like this. And I'm going to call this guy point two and this guy point one. And I'm going to fill in what I know. So in my point two, my y value is here. In my point one, my y value is here. In my point two, my x value is here. And in my point one, my x value is here. Now I can fill in all my numbers. 
14 minus 4 and 5 minus 1. Then I do the math. I subtract on the top, 14 minus 4 is 10. I subtract on the bottom, 5 minus 1 is equal to 4. And you always want to reduce your fraction. I can't just straight up divide this and get a whole number. That's not going to work. So I can reduce my fraction. What number goes into both 10 and 4? 2. So I'm going to divide the top and the bottom by 2. 10 divided by 2 is 5. 4 divided by 2 is 2. So my slope is 5 over 2. You keep it as a fraction. You don't need to change it to a decimal. Okay. Here's one for you to try. This is a good point for you to pause the video right now. Try this on your own, and then I'm going to work through it. Write out my formula. Fill in my skeleton and get to work. Remember, subtracting is the same as adding the opposite. Negative 3 minus 2 is negative 5. 5 divided by negative 5 gives me negative 1. Okay. If you have any questions, let me know. I hope you did a great job. Good luck.